grassroots football would be up there as one of my best memories. It was coming through a Sunday league team, which was local of mine, which my mum would always take me to. And then that was actually where I got scouted by Aston Villa and then uh, was able to sign for them at the age of eight years old. England's game, it's more recently, I think it was the Euros, the one before this one, I'd say it was the penalty shootout. I can imagine how tough it was. Uh, obviously, I think people had seen the social media and stuff afterwards. And I think for the players, them personally, to be able to come back from that game and still be able to play with the confidence they have, that inspired me to kind of block out the noise and stuff like that. And, just be able to focus on my, my own game. The game now nowadays has changed massively and I think there's just no room for that in, in this sport or any sport. Our captain actually got injured, I think it was in the quarterfinals and I was awarded the captain's armband and to be able to take the team to the final and actually win against Liverpool 2-1 in the final at Villa Park, I think that was a big moment in my career. It's just about pushing positive role models onto to young people and young people will then want to aspire to be, you know, more like them. Growing up, you naturally look for people who, who, are, who are more like you and who you can relate to. I think that's in anything, whether it be music or sports. I think you always want to be able to relate to that person. I think having uh, more positive black role models. It's massive and it's definitely needed in today's society. Didier Drogba, when he went out there and played, he just played with a massive confidence and he wouldn't let outside noise and stuff affect him. And in big, big games, you could see that. And uh, for me, that, for me, he was a massive role model. My brother actually had fallen pretty ill for a few months and he was in hospital for a while. I was still at Villa training like every every day. My mum would actually have to stay at the hostel with him for quite a long time actually and I think that affected me. I think it just shows that family is most important and health is most important because my brother was a really big role model to me. He was my older brother. For him to show that strength, I think that had a really positive impact on me and definitely helped me get to the level I'm at today. To have a massive self-belief, believing that you can achieve absolutely anything is, is the best thing. And I think also hard work and dedication because if you do everything you can to achieve your goal, to you know, give you the best chance to su succeed and be successful in whatever you want to do. And I think do everything to 100% and have a high, high amount of self-belief.